until the 7th of September rather than mid-August, as had been expected. The decision announced last night by the Minister for Education, Norma Foley, is to allow calculated grades to be delivered, as she puts it, to the highest possible standards. We can talk now to the Minister who joins us on the line. A very good morning to you and thank you for joining us on the programme this morning. Um, As you yourself said, the Department was committed to issuing these calculated grades as close as possible to the usual time frame. So why now are they being deferred to early September rather than mid-August, a three-week delay? Well, I suppose I should say in the first instance, Brian, um, the announcement that is is being made currently is uh, an opportunity where we're asking students to re-engage once again with the portal, which will open at 12 o'clock on Monday next, and they're being asked to confirm their desire or their wish to receive calculated grades. And that actually is a very positive and um, reassuring move for students so that they would know that the process of calculated grades is continuing as we outlined it would continue. As regards the date of the 7th of September, um, I suppose we would have to acknowledge that the measure of calculated grades was introduced because of the extraordinary circumstances in which we find ourselves presently, that it was not feasible or possible for the traditional leaving search to take place. And so in its place, um, the calculated grades process um, has been brought in. Now, we must remember that that's a calculated grade for 61,000 students with just short of half a million, 450,000 individual subject results. Right. And it is hugely, hugely important to me that the integrity of the leaving cert um, calculated grades for the class of 2020 will have a similar integrity to the leaving cert of 2019 or 2018 or indeed the leaving cert going forward. So so you you didn't want to to rush this then and it's presumably not a decision that came out of the blue. So why when you were asked yesterday by uh, Labour's Aon O'Reardon, you were on your feet in the doll for a a number of hours, you were asked specifically by him, uh, is this going to be the case? Is the 7th of September now the date? You You didn't give a date, you stonewalled. Well, actually, I confirmed that the next step would take place and that the next step was the opening of the portal. And in, in fairness, I am very conscious, and it has been my approach since I took up this position, that I would acknowledge that there are a variety of partners in education. And the partners in education have been hugely engaged and incredibly positive um, in terms of negotiating and being involved in this process. And yeah, but I Minister, sorry to come across you. You were asked, a, you were asked a specific question. You presumably had the information available. Um, why didn't you just answer the question? Yeah, and because partners in education include the, include the parents and, and the students themselves. They want to know. Because as a matter of professionalism and courtesy, um, it, it was my view that they should be informed first uh, as regards to how the system was progressing and... Um, that was my view. They have engaged from the beginning in this process, and uh, I believe they, being, they, they being to hear. teachers and universities and schools. Pardon? I'm not sure who they are. They are, as I say, the the parents, representatives, the teachers, the students, uh, the mm-hmm. managerial bodies, the principals and deputy principals. They have all been engaged in this process, and indeed, all of them have facilitated this process to this point, and indeed other initiatives within the department and I felt it was right and proper and professional that they would hear um Okay, rather than the, the dial the in the first instance. Okay, um, can, maybe in we can a, move on to fashion. fair enough. Maybe we can move on to what this means now for students. They'll be getting their CAO offers then at what stage after they uh, receive results on the seventh of September? On the eleventh of September, the CEO offers um, will be released. And also, I want to acknowledge that. There has been incredible engagement and support and cooperation uh, through the CEO and indeed UCAS for the UK system and everything is in place that um, the results as released on the 7th of September will actually be in line to facilitate um, both CEO and UCAS um, offer for students. Right, so how much time will they have then after that, uh, 11th of September, to make up their minds? Well, um, f- following the, um, the, as I say, the um, results on the 7th, the, yeah. um, the offers will come within that week with the 11th of September for the CEO. There will be an opportunity then on the 14th of September should students wish to appeal um, any particular calculated grades they have received and mm-hmm. the um, opportunity, um, we must remember also there will be an opportunity at a later date should students wish to take a written exam. Right. Uh, so second round offers then, because very many thousands of students uh, wait to that second round offer in the hope that they'll get uh, the course they're, they're looking for in the college they're looking for. What will that ha- when will they occur and will it be in time for them to begin the academic year? 
Well, um, it, it, obviously that will be a matter for the third level institutions, but I do, I do wish to acknowledge that they have been hugely cooperative in facilitating this process to this point, and mm. I have every confidence that, you know, um, what they, are they will continue you? to engage in that, in that process so that students will have maximum opportunity to take up uh, offers that they might wish to, to take up. But what are they telling you about whether this process will allow them to begin uh, to the schedule that they planned? And, to, and students well, to be in, in, the, in the courses? Well, um, it's, they are absolutely confident and they have um, engaged, as I say, to say that they will facilitate the release of the results on the 7th with their offers coming um, on the 11th of September for the CEO, but also within that time frame will be the UCAS offers. And so there is no question or there is no cause for concern for students there. And equally so, the appeals process will be turned around as quickly as possible so mm-hmm. that... Um, students will be in a position to maximise the potential to, to take up another offer, should that be the case. Yeah, but they may only have a few days then to organise themselves yes. to begin the course, to find accommodation and so on, and to, to, uh, to find their way around the, around the college. Absolutely, Brian. I, I do appreciate that, that uh, there may well be a short time frame. But again, I would have to say that we are living in extraordinary circumstances and extraordinary measures are being taken. And mm. at this point, I really should say as well, I absolutely want to acknowledge the patience of uh, the students concerned, the parents, the teachers, everyone involved, and to acknowledge that I appreciate what a stressful time, even in a normal run of things, mm, this of would course. be for all concerned. Mm. I, I have dealt with students all my life, and I know it's a time of high anxiety. But there is an assurance here well, that the process is continuing as it should continue. I appreciate you've mentioned the short window there, uh-huh. but the, I'm very confident that well, the third level institutions um, are well, making their own reg- uh, okay. arrangements as regards well, star- start well, dates for various courses right. and well, in the round all um, you know, information yeah. and all uh, that needs to be taken into consideration by them will mm-hmm. most certainly be taken well, into perhaps consideration we've, by we've, them. We've, we've helped students and their parents a little bit this morning uh, in going through some of it and we thank you for coming on the programme. That was the Minister for Education, Norma Foley. The time just gone, 21 minutes past eight. We are living in a precarious time, a time of high uncertainty. That's the stark warning from the National Public Health Emergency Team last night as they continued to warn about the rising number of coronavirus cases here. As we know, phase four of the reopening of the country due next month Day has been paused until August the 10th at the earliest. 21 more cases confirmed last night, one more death. We heard warnings that the reproductive rate is on the rise. It could be as high as 1.8. If it is, up to 170 cases a day would be the result in three weeks' time. We asked to speak to someone from Neffet this morning, but no one was available. We are joined now by Professor Emer Shelley, who is Dean of the Faculty of Public Health Medicine at the Royal College of Physicians of Ireland. Professor Shelley, thank you for being with us. Are you you concerned? Good morning. 